video tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get started on vVideo and start editing your videos and if this is the best video editing software available. So let's get into it. First off, you're going to go on vVideo.com and this is their landing page and you are going to sign up for vVideo. So you can sign up using Google or Facebook or just enter your details. I'm just going to sign up using Google. And once you have signed up, you can start editing right away. So this is the best part about vVideo is that you do not require payment to get started. And if you do choose to pay, you actually do have a good idea of how the platform actually works. So this is going to be your basic dashboard. You can see you can edit videos in horizontal form if you're making square videos for Instagram, if you're making vertical videos for your Instagram, Facebook or TikTok, you can edit them all here. So you can see that you can start with a template. So let's browse all the available templates over here. And here you can see different categories, so seasonal templates, layouts, social media, memes, mementos, celebrations, education, business promos, influencers, and real estate. So we are just going to take a look at the different kinds of templates available. Now, this vlogger intro actually looks pretty good, so we are just going to take a look at that. And now here you can see this is going to be your workspace on the video. Here we are just going to take a preview of the video, so how the video actually looks, what everything is looking like. So you can see how the text is appearing on the video. Now let's change that up. First I'm going to show you this on the template and then I'm going to show you this editing method on stock video. So if you take a look at the bottom, you have three rows. So it is text one, text two, and the media. So the text that is present above is going to be present in this line. Below that, you have your text that is present on the left bottom corner. You can edit that through here. And below that, you have your video uh, you have posted. Now, taking a look at this text, we are just going to edit it. So just like that, you can change the font of the text that is present. Let's just change it to a Matic SC and let's change the color palette to pink, just like that. And now we are going to save our changes. So you can see over here, just to show you guys, this is what I edited. I made it pink and now it's pink on the video. You can see on the top, you have your stock media, my media, text, audio, transition, and background options. So Taking a look at the text, you can add motion text, but you will have to upgrade from the free version to a paid version on the video and even audios. So there are some stock audios that are present on the video that you can use for your video. So you can add this over here and now you can see this audio has been added to my original video. And you can, if you don't like it, if you want the audio to be only present in specific parts, you can shorten it. And then you can also change the audio output. So if you want the music to be very low in the background, you can just adjust that from the left bottom, adding in transitions. And just like the audio, if you like a transition, so if you like this rainbow kind of transition, you can add that over here. So let's just see, we're going to add this transition over here. And now you can see this transition has been added to this little part of the video, just like that. So it's that quick and easy to edit videos using the video. Now taking a look at a new edit. So we're just going to add a new video to get started on it from scratch. I'm just going to use a stock video and start editing that. So I'm just going to browse to select. And now I have loaded out my own video from a stock imagery website. And over here, you can see it is a slow-mo of a person dancing. I'm going to slow this out. I'm going to drag and drop this video in the lower portion of the editor. You can see over here in video one, I have dropped my video. What I'm going to do is just extend it as much as possible so I can view each frame individually. And now I'm going to add text. So over here, you can see once you click on the media or video, you can see this pen that appears above it. You're just going to click on that. 
and now you can see different editing options so you can transform your video you can rotate it you can flip it you can fit it to the screen size you can also scale it if you want it to be zoomed in or zoomed out and after that you have a crop feature which is not available on the free plan then you have your animations that you can add after that you have a, a hollywood style kind of editor which can remove any discoloration from your video so if you have a video that is tinted blue or tinted yellow you can remove that and fix the color keying of your video but that feature is also only exclusively present on the paid plans and then you have your general settings as of color brightness contrast so you can just adjust those as you like and now you're just going to save your changes now let's just say i want to add some music to this video i'm just going to take this mysterious hip-hop music i'm going to turn down the volume a bit on this and now i'm going to cut it trim it basically just to suit my video length and just like that this music has been added to my video now to add text to your video as you can see on this top bar i'm going to click on text then you can see the different kinds of text fonts and styles that are available. I'm just going to select one that I think looks good. Let's try this one. So I'm just going to view it first before I add it and it looks very nice. So I'm just going to add that to the start. I'm going to move my video ahead. So this is going to be like a intro slide and then my video would start. So like that, the video is going to start. So you can see over here and just like that. Once you do that, you are going to click on this track or this text template and you are going to adjust the color scheme to whatever you like. I will just go with pink and purples because I really like pink and purples. So, and now to let's make the text color a bit dark and now you are going to edit your top text. So, let's just say best dance studio as if we were going to make a dance studio kind of advertisement or video and we are going to save these changes and now let's take a preview of what we have changed and just like that our changes have been made so after that if you want to add some more text for example let's add this text because it looks very nice and clean so let's just add this over here and you will see that this text will appear without any background. So if you want just simple text, you can add this. You're just going to double click on that and then customize your text. So dance that catches the soul. And now you can also change the font of the text as you wish. So let's take a look at the different kind of fonts that are available. This one looks good. And you can also change the color to whatever you might want. I'm just going to go with white and now you can also change the size of the text so you can either set it on auto so it won't let you change but if you want to change the size of the text you're just going to click on manual and just increase or decrease the size over here you can also edit the animation of the text so you can scale it to very large or very small you can rotate it you can flip it however you might want to do it and then you can also relocate it so the sample just adds it to the center but if you want to make it at the side you can do that i'm just going to move this text to the side and now i'm going to save my changes now taking a look at our video once more from the start so if you want your text duration to be longer you can just extend it from here also you can add an other audio track or a video track so let's just say that you want to add another video track but you don't want it to uh, be added in the same bar as this one you want it to be separated so editors or for your own ease you can edit it more efficiently you are just going to click on this plus icon on the left once you do that you can name it whatever you want and then you can add your other video so let's just say i'm adding another video over here i'm gonna go back on my media and then i'm going to import i'm gonna browse to select then I'm going to select this stock file and then once it is processing, I'm just going to add it over here. You can see by this method, I can create a longer video just by using stock images and it will enable me to uh, tell my stories better and have a good narrative that is shown in the video. So just to show you guys what it will look like, I'm going to move back. I'm going to show you guys this. This is how the video is going to look this is a preview so the quality is not as uh, up to par as it could be 
but just like that our other video has started and i haven't really uh corrected the timings on both of these so i'm just gonna make sure that the last frame of the previous video and the first frame of this video coincide so there isn't a black screen gap between both of these videos and now you can see that this video is slightly ahead so i'm just gonna move it a little bit like that and now it is perfectly coincided just like that so i'm also going to add a transition over here you're going to click on transitions on the top and you can add whatever kind of transition you might want let's just add one of this burn transition and now taking a look you can see how this orange kind of filter appeared when we were transitioning from the dance video to the video of the man so that was how to get started and use the video and now i'm just going to finish this you can set your title so sample you can set your title and now you can download it as a video audio or gif file in 4k or uh, 480p but if you are using a free plan uh, this is a trial plan so it's allowing me to download in 4k otherwise the free plan won't allow you to download your videos in hd at all you can only download your videos in a 480 or 420p if you are using the free version of the video which is a huge drawback so i've mentioned the free plan and the difference between the premium plan so let's actually take a look at the different plans that are provided by the video so first off you have your free plan which we were just sampling and you get only five minutes of content editing per month you get five gigabytes of storage 480p is your maximum resolution you can use you can save to any device have multiple video formats gif formats audio only uh, voiceovers and screen recording then v video offers four more plans ranging from four dollars to 26 dollars right now they actually have a 60 percent off running on their website so actually it would actually range from ten dollars to around uh, 30 74 dollars but this discount can usually be availed using a lot of coupon codes that are available on the internet and the power feature is pretty good because it provides you with 30 minutes of monthly editing or monthly content that you can create using the video you can also enable no v video watermark so you won't get a watermark if you have a four dollar uh, per month plan on the video you also get cropping features, slow motions, green screens, audio boosts, and motion titles and templates. However, on the unlimited version, you also get record screen and webcam together. So if you're doing live streaming or gaming, if that is the kind of content that, that you are looking to edit or create, I would go for the unlimited plan. After that, you also have your professional and business plan, which are uh, not really practical for someone that is just getting started. So if you are just starting off with gaming content, go for the unlimited. If you are just looking to edit a few clips here and there, just use it for free. And if you're looking for something that can provide you with some value and you have some stuff that you frequently need to edit, uh, go for the power plan. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.